All right, guys, welcome back. So you are here for a certain kind of video, and that's the Holoport unboxing and setup. You know, there was a lot of troubleshooting that I went through that I'm going to go through in this video. I'm going to teach you exactly what's in the box, what you need to do, what you need to set up, where you're going to put it, and all that jazz, running through the wizard to get things set up. So without further ado, let's first of all, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and let's join me in the living room. Where we're already running right now. All right, folks, so... After like a year of ordering this, the hollow port finally came in. And you can see that the packaging is really, really nice. What we have here is we have a power cord. So standard power cord, nothing too cool or anything. But over here, if I can just get this box to open. Look. So after removing the box, there's this film here. And then we have, looks like our hollow port. So it's a fat bitch. That's what we're going to call it. It is huge, and I don't know what I'm going to pull it yet, but we have a LAN cable. Not quite sure what this wing thing here is. It looks like it's just some sort of clip and the power adapter. So it looks like I don't know why this doesn't fit or we have to connect another adapter here, but I guess it is what it is. So we're going to have to take this out. We have a little sticker with this as well and read this user guide to see how to guess this thing's set up but if you're following along this video then what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what's in the box set up our hollow port and get to know it and do all that jazz all right guys so here's what we got we got the power cable that we have we connected the power cable to the adapter we have our ethernet cable this little thing this is not candy you actually really really need this this is a usb and you need this USB drive in order to register to the network. So we're going to register at the network at register.holo.host forward slash hollow. And you can see in the diagram, we use that little USB drive in order to connect everything to register our hollow port. So over here in the hollow port, this actually is quite beautiful. And if you actually take a look at the, at the, what we have in the back here, you just squeeze it between my thighs. That's what she said. We have the power button. We have, uh, this is the LED light, which kind of manages the light in the front. We have both, uh, an audio output jack and an input output jack, which is a microphone output jack. They're both disabled by default. Uh, USB 3.0 for any external hard drives, 2.0 for a keyboard and mouse. So I really think that you can use this hollow port other than hosting the hollow network. We have our ethernet cable core where we put our ethernet in and we have this HDMI to connect it to an external monitor or TV or something. And that last thing, that little dot there, that is the power jack. So if you take our little thing here, you just plug that in there. I always have trouble putting things in holes. Uh, that's probably why she was complaining all night. But there you go. And then you plug the other end to uh, outlet and you should be good to go ahead and register on that website. All right. So I have my hollow port set up in my closet. It's, it's a freaking mess. Look at all this tangle. But anyways, I am just going to go to the back here and click that power button here to start it up. So now this is starting. You can see that it is going blue right now. And when it's flashing blue, what it says is it's booting up, flashing purple, searching for internet. So we're looking for this to be a solid blue right now. And once it's a solid blue, then we're going to go to register this at the register site that I just showed you not too long ago. All right, guys. So we're over at register.holo.host forward slash hollow, and we are registering our hollow port. Remember, Remember that you should have gotten a USB key along with you. So next thing you want to do is fill this up. Legal names, legal surname, fill in your email address. All right. So once everything is done, you filled in your name, your email address, the country you live in, Holoport, and have you previously connected your Holoport to the Holo network? Click no. Once you've done, done that, go ahead and click continue. So then you'll get an email with a link to quick start where you'll connect your Holoports to the Holo network and set up your host console where you can log in and manage the settings of your Holoport. So over here, I got my registering your Holoport email. I am on ProtonMail. And just a quick note, guys, if you are not using ProtonMail, you should be using ProtonMail because it is much safer than Gmail or any other mail provided by some centralized providers because ProtonMail, all your email is encrypted. So the only person that can read your emails and what's in the content of your emails is you. So that's why I am slowly switching over to ProtonMail. Use the link in the description or the pinned comment below in order to get started with ProtonMail. So I really highly suggest you do that, especially when you are in the crypto game right now. So with that said, 
go and copy your registration code and go to the quick start link and open that up. So here's a few things to note. If you have multiple holoports, I am not wealthy, so I don't have multiple, I only have one. Power on, connect your holoport to the internet. We're done that. So ours is a solid blue, so I think we are good. So I already have my USB drive already installed or inserted into my computer. So you can make sure you do that. Uh, keep a copy of your password you create for registration somewhere secure. Cryptographic keys are not replaceable. That's obvious. Click next. So we have our registration code. We're going to click next, put in our email and our registration code and click next. I'm going to do that and you can go ahead and do yours too. Click next. So here's the important part. Next two steps is where you create and save your C file, which is the basis of your identity. Super important for you to save the C file and passphrase you create here somewhere safe and somewhere you will remember it will be used in the future if you need to regenerate passwords or if you need to register additional holoports you can discontinue from the internet now if you like and continue using quick start so you can go ahead and turn off your internet and do this if you like make sure to write down a third password in a password manager so i'm gonna do this and click next you guys do the same thing so the next thing we have to do is generate a seed file this is kind of like theta to be honest because theta also had us generate a seed file and you will need to save it to your hard drive or you can save it to a usb drive that is not the same usb drive that is used for your holoport so not the one that came in the package you guys so generate that and then click next so next you want to create a host console password for your primary hollow port so after that you would want to click save configuration file and remember don't change the file name from what it is you want to take this in from your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded it and you're going to take that and move it into your your usb that you plugged in that you got from hollow port right because they said move the file to the hollow port USB drive. So it's going to be no name. That's how mine came up. I'm not sure how yours is going to come up, but we'll just move that over there and make sure it's over there. And then we're going to click next. So to connect to the hollow network, what you need to do is safely eject the USB from your computer, power on your hollow port and insert the USB do the associated hollow port when the led light is solid blue if you have an additional hollow port to register you must continue to the next page to add it so what we're going to do is we're going to eject this so go back to finder or whatever you're on click this little eject button and now you are safe to unplug your usb from your computer and we're going to plug it on the other side so you can see here that my hollow port is blue and all you have to do is you just have to go to the back here and make sure to plug it into the 3.0 socket not the 2.0 socket because i believe that is for you know mouses and keyboards but the 3.0 pocket is where you want to slot it into all right guys do you hear that burring that is the fan it is a very very loud fan and be sure to subscribe because we're going to learn how to fix that i'm going to show you how to fix that in a later video but for right now i can't show you the last step because actually my video file was got corrupted so I'm really only showing you on the registration steps up to step six the seventh step is basically do you want to register additional hollow ports which I only have one hollow port so it's a no but anyways right now what you see here is this hollow port and I'm gonna flip over the camera to show you the color so basically we're filming this dark because I'm not sure once you see it on the camera it's looking like white but it's actually Aurora so basically look at the color of the walls that should be the color if it's still flashing blue then basically just go to the back of the hollow port and restart it so basically go to the back there where the power button is hold the power button down until that light goes off and then turn it back on until the light comes back on so that's rebooting it and then you should get the email and that's basically it that was it because i was waiting for like hours i waited overnight for the email to come you should get an email once you set up your hollow port and it is registered and I'm not sure if they're missing that step, but I found that I didn't get the email until I plugged in my USB key and I went to the back, I rebooted it, hold on the power button to see the light go off and then hold that power button again to see the light come on for it to reboot. And then immediately you should get the registration email, which looks something like this. All right, so basically once you get the registration email, you would get this hollow port successfully registered, go to host console, which would open up something like this. So at the host console, you use the same password that you set up during the wizard. And this is basically how the dashboard looks like right now. There's not a lot you can see the dashboard, H apps, hosting preferences. There's not a lot you can change, but this is basically what they have here for tests right now, because this is still an alpha apparently. So that's basically it. All right, guys. So that's it. You made it to the end of this video. That's all you really need. You should have your hollow ports set up by now. Next video, we're going to go through that fan because if you are having company in the bedroom and that fan is going, yeah, that's going to get mighty annoying. So we're going to take a look at how we can turn that off. 
In addition, we're also going to go over how to limit the bandwidth for your holoport because what I found was that your holoport takes up a lot of the internet so that when I was on a Zoom call, my internet actually cut out because of that holoport. So I'm going to help you configure. I use a Netgear router. It's going to be different depending on your router. So you're going to have to make note of that, but you really want to set a schedule for that holoport when you're going to be serving people because otherwise your internet services are going to be pretty, pretty bad. You probably won't be able to go on Zoom meetings like I do. So other than that, if you got any sort of value whatsoever from this video, can you please help this video grow, help our channel grow by smashing the like button, smashing the subscribe button. Check out these other videos on cryptocurrencies, passive income, and hollow ports, hollow chain. And remember guys, stay working, stay building, stay inspiring. See you next time.